Well, howdy guys, welcome back. It's time for episode number 13 and another fun one plan. I mean, 13 traditionally is an unlucky number, not around here. In fact, I even have some good news for us to uh, start the episode off with. So I found a way, um, if you go into your options and you go under miscellaneous, you've got the option here to reset your um, unique buildings. So these ones here are now all locked up again, which is awesome. We're gonna have to go through the, um, you know, the proper requirements to use them. And I, I don't know if there's a way to do it with the milestones, or maybe I'm just not seeing it, but I, I don't know. With the milestones, I, I want to just basically pretend like we're still trying to unlock them, even though they are already all, are all unlocked. So if you look at our population, uh, we're about 28,000 and change. So I mean, our last unlock would have been um, the solar power plant, our third loan. And we actually don't get the tile until we hit 32,000. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pretend like we did not buy this one just yet, so we won't really do any building in here. And um, what I'm going to do is get rid of our uh, nuclear power plant, and I want to make a little solar field, say, right around here. And actually, what I really want to do is... Um, let me back this up a little bit. So I did kind of fall in love with the idea of using the Eiffel Tower, because it's such a pretty building. I don't know if you guys have seen it in real life or not, but it's just it's awesome. Very romantic. Um, so I want to get that down, but the requirement is like astronomical amounts of, um, uh, industrial zoning. So like a space, like 10 times the size of what we have now. So we're going to have to do like a like massive oversized forestry sector. What I really want to do right here is if we click on our resources, we can see, like, I want to make a big oil field right here. We'll convert that to forestry afterwards, but I just want to, yeah, convert this whole area over. So we'll get, you know, farming, forestry, more forestry, some mining up here, some, some um, oil fields right here. And then just to ensure that traffic doesn't get like absolutely bonkers. And then, you know, now that we kind of know where the top of the map's gonna be, what I really want is, and this is kind of what we're gonna do this episode, is we're gonna start a new um, highway interchange here, kind of bring that up and across, highway interchange right here, and then connect over to here. And then just so I can kind of share our long-term goals with you. Um, the highway, I want to make that like a four-way cloverleaf or whatever interchange right here. And I want to continue that. We'll scale it down. I want to use a single lane highway road. But I want to have um, a little hop skip over to the island. We'll stop at the island. And then make our way back over to this side of the coast. And then I want to have just like right above the river's edge. It's kind of like a little parkway that sneaks across. And then, you know, if we have any bridges or whatever, they'll just go right on over top. So it won't get in the way of anything. And then a little bit further into the city, that's where the parkway will kind of drop you off. And I want to then cross the river and just make a little loop through here. Because really, you can see, you know, even with this tile purchase, we don't actually have any access to the highways over here. We will when we get this highway, or we, when we get this tile. So what I want to do, just to make sure traffic doesn't get chaotic. Because it's going to be like, you know, the old town. And we're building a new university campus over here. And we're going to have our historic, um, yeah, historic old town and downtown. So it's going to be really, really, really busy. We're going to want some highway access. And then, you know, same logic applies. We're not going further down this way, so we can't really access the highway over here. So we're going to have to be, I think, a bit creative. So that's kind of my my logic for that. So that'll be, you know, obviously over the next few episodes. Only we're going to get that in today, but just something for us to kind of work on. And then before I jump into um, our construction, let me show you guys some things I did off camera. So over here, I just changed the slope and angles and just kind of curvature of this road just a little bit. I think it's kind of a little bit cleaner now, not really as sharp of a bend as it crosses over. And oh my gosh, it gets so busy over here whenever we have games going. Um, and then in our university campus, I actually just widened this road a little bit. So now uh, speed limit's a little bit slower, so it's safer for when you're doing your merging. Um, it's a bit of a blind corner anyway, so that's probably how it would be in real life. You'd want to slow down and have the extra lane for a turn in. And I just put a few new buildings in just because we got some extra zoning squares now. And then in town, just in a few spots, see, like I went through, just put down some parking lots and some trees, just kind of our normal, regular thing. I just, like I was saying in the last episode, slowly want to work away at that. And I don't mind doing some of it off camera, just so we don't have to, you know, get like bored with that or whatever, right? But um, yeah, slowly but surely we'll fill the whole city up. And the goal would just be just to kind of get trees and pathways and stuff, right? So I've done a little bit of that. And then over here, I reconnected our six lane corridor and I found that the road ended up being a little bit too steep. So what I did was, um, for our bicycle friends, create a little offshoot right here. And that's just kind of like the bypass for this. So you don't have to pedal your brains out if you want to go up and over the uh, the train tracks. And then you know, with the Art Deco um, DLC, you get these nifty new kind of like older looking buildings that sometimes spawn 
So I, I really like that. So this little theater, I kind of put like a walking path behind it. So if you're like on a movie date or something, you guys can take a little stroll in the park, watch the trains or something afterwards. I think, you know, it's kind of cute. Um, and then I also did a, um, an improvement to this road. So this is now an actual highway. And we're using the sound barriers to help a little bit with the noise. But the idea is now more people will be using this and kind of staying off our um, in-town roads, which of course will help like dramatically with traffic. And then the last thing, and this was actually a, um, a, a little uh, photo gallery that was uh, shared with me on uh, on Twitter. So uh, Domo um, did a little bit of terraforming here to get rid of the tunnel, and I'm totally stealing that idea. So thank you very much for sharing that with me. I really like the way this looks. Domo did a much better job of working the rocks and everything in, but kind of like that. And so still my intention to do a little bit more work over here. He's got so much to do with the city, right? But let's just, yeah, like, enough chit chat. Let's Let's tackle this big project over here. And what I was hoping to do um, with this interchange over here, and this is super ambitious, and just to get things started, I changed this a little bit. And actually, it's a little, it's still a little crazy, so I might rework that again, I don't know. But, I mean, the goal was just to make the bridge a little bit cleaner looking. Uh, it was a little bit, uh, kind of dipped in a little bit before. But, yeah, what I want to do right here is just create a double crossover merging interchange, which is quite the mouthful. Uh, it's very similar to um, this interchange that we have right here, and like you know, this is obviously great. It's like super speedy for um, for getting like the you know merging and stuff to happen. The only way really to improve upon this would be to get rid of the traffic lights, and then to do that effectively, you would have the roads go over top of each other with um, overlapping bridge heights. And so we're gonna try that. I mean, it's pretty ambitious. We're gonna try that over here. Hopefully, we can get it. And then, um, yeah, see how much time we have left, and then just work on the rest of the highway or the oil fields. But I've been talking about wanting to put this in for a while, and I've just, you know, I've had so many of you, like, you know, dropping some, like, really great suggestions for some interchanges and stuff, so I want to start just working those into the city. Okay, so we'll start our framing by using our one-way roads here. And then just to help us out with the, um, uh, like, the, the bridges and stuff, I'm going to have this one be a height of 12 meters and then the other one be a height of nine meters and that'll help with the um with the overlap process or hopefully it should and then i'm going to upgrade these to highway afterwards perfect make that excellent so just like we were doing before just kind of getting in the um the basic frame and then what we're left with now is two bridge heights and just kind of like the right spacing and stuff for, for us to approach and get everything kind of working in here. Because symmetry obviously is important. It's a little bit tricky sometimes to get. Uh, you see how right here our pillars aren't really working? That's totally no problem. What you would do in that instance is just do a little side road like this. Uh, upgrade the portion that you want to highway. Delete the rest of this. And we upgraded this a little bit, so we have an anchor point that's like symmetrical and in line with everything else. So when we put the pillars back in, uh, they're in the right spot, and everything is, you know, kind of bada bing, bada boom. So that works. And then, uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with the lower of the two bridges, and we're just going to be going for that helix kind of shape that we did um, with our other interchange. And then for that side, just so it's not as steep of a drop, I'm going to back that up just a little bit. I'm going to try and go, I mean, kind of fast with this. I'm, I'm hoping we can just get this done quickly and on the first um, on the first go, but that's, I don't know. Nothing ever seems to be simple in this game. Everything seems simple on paper. Uh, I might worry about the directions afterwards since I keep messing those up right now. Great, and then same idea for this side. Might have to go a bit further. Yep, there we go. And if it's not, you know, perfectly symmetrical, I don't think that's the end of the world. It's going to be tricky just in general to get the symmetry to work, simply because you know, we're using like different heights on both sides, like the road underneath is a little bit diagonal, so. I'm not that concerned. And then we can always always clean up the um, uh, the look of it by adding some trees and like rocks and like that kind of stuff, just to hide a bit more of the imperfections. I mean, but this is basically what I'm going for. So let's get our directions just right. So you go up, over, uh, 
Aha, got that wrong. And then in an instance where we can't switch the direction, sometimes that happens as the pillars is being a little uncooperative. We'll just redraw this in two segments, no problem. Perfect. And then this now goes that way. All right, done like dinner. Um, let's bring this across the river. Is that okay for height? No, it actually is okay for height. Just on a. Oh, and can we get that to line up? I don't think we're going to get lucky just because of the um, the fact that the river is on a bit of a diagonal. Uh, yeah, darn it. Not going to happen. Maybe we can use the pillars. Uh, I don't know. It'd be really cool if we could get a double pillar on the other side. Let's just try for that. Now, it doesn't line up perfectly, but I mean, it's pretty darn close. Or close enough that I think we can just kind of leave it. Now, what does that look like if we just go... Oh, that's that's a little bit better, I think. And from here to here, eh, not quite. Not quite. That, however, is much better. Okie dokie, all right. Okay, so that's our way in. All right, let's now do our merging arms. So you can see, I mean, it's pretty symmetrical. All things considering, I'm actually yeah, I'm happy with that. So this is where things get obviously complicated and a little bit um, a little bit chaotic. So hopefully we do a good job here. But the idea would be um, we're crossing over with our directions so that when we merge, things are a lot um, smoother and safer and everything. So you'd have a way over and down, just kind of like that, more or less. And then that would be met by a road that goes, if we wanted to, on the inside. I don't know if we're going to have the room because of how low that is, but it would just be like that, hypothetically. I'm trying to limit the amount of space this actually takes up. Perfect. And let's just try and smooth these out if we can, just by a little bit. Mm, not quite. Thanks, but no thanks. Much, 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 much better. Okay, perfect. Now let's try and do the same thing on the other side and go for some symmetry in that sense. Basically going like that, awesome. And then same idea, just coming through here and sneaking on in. I would like these to kind of share the same little intake road, so let's go like that now. I think we're going to be losing a bit of the symmetry between the two sides, but I don't think that's the end of the world. It always ends up being the case where I like one side way more than the other side. So how do we get that to kind of work a bit better? Why is that always the case? I think that's a little bit cleaner and it does kind of mirror that a little bit better. So we'll, I think we'll go for that. Now let's just put in the other sides. So we need this way to go like that, just over to here. Right, that's pretty much that. Probably just do the same thing over here. Right, I mean that's pretty much pretty much even. I like that. And then now we just need the way to go this way and then up to here. 
So we need like a connection like these basically to connect. Now we're not really pressed for space. We don't necessarily have the most amount of space to work with. So we have to be, I think, a bit creative. Yeah, I mean, just like that, basically, right? Now, like, the slope and everything, the steepness of the arms is a little bit, I think, too much. So maybe we can try that again. Like, worst case, I think what we could even do is we could do kind of like, um, almost like a cloverleaf style thing. Can I see my, my plan right here, how we just go down and in like that? So let's get that angle to work, but I think that's a cool little plan B for um, for this space. Because so I don't want anything to be too steep. And then of course, like we want our merging arms just to be relatively efficient. Otherwise, cars going through them are going to have to slow down like too much. And then everything bottles next. And then like, what is the point of this interchange if it doesn't even work? Oh, that's cool. So that can probably be fixed. Yeah, that's really nice. I wonder why we lose a bit of that slope when that happens. The same idea, so it's a little bit too steep. I don't know what's going on here. I might not be able to get any better than that unless I um, make that go a little bit further back, which can all always be done. Yeah, because there's more room to work with. I think that's a winning strategy right there. And then that means this can be redone on a longer approach. And that makes me happy, and that makes that road happy. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's great. That's really good. So that links very well. Let's now um, go for the same thing on the other side. And, oh gosh, to get that to look like symmetrical is going to be pretty much a challenge, but I don't think it's going to be impossible. Oh gosh. Um, so we need just, yeah, basically like that to go. And it's really, it's the um, diagonal aspect of the road that makes this look so disproportionate. And then, you know, hmm. <laughs> How do I make that so nice on this side? Oh my goodness. Let me just study that for a second. Okay. Not too steep. Just enough height to hopefully get across here. I just saw it. Come on. There it is. And now that can just link up like this. Perfect. So, I mean, it's relatively symmetrical. It's a bit bigger than I kind of pictured in my mind's eye, but this is definitely what we're going for right here. So that's really cool. Um, a lot of opportunity for us to beautify it as well. So I'll definitely be doing that, I think, off camera. Because I don't want to spend like the world of time doing that now. But, oh, this is so cool. Arguably, that could be a little bit sharp. So I'm going to monitor traffic, and if it looks like you know, people are slowing down too much. I might improve on some of these arms, but I think that's kind of what we're going for with this. And, you know, it took a little bit longer than I kind of planned for. I mean, usually that's the case always with uh, with this game. It's never, never, nothing's ever easy. But let's just do a quick connection over here now on the other side. Like a quick little interchange. And then we'll start, hopefully, the mapping of... Um, our uh, little oil field area. So I'm gonna go uh, straight out both of these just a little bit further, then I'm gonna start curbing in, and then we'll make kind of a fun interchange over here. Let's go straight across like this, and try for the same spacing on both sides. And then the way I'm doing this, sorry guys, um, is I'm using the Kirby Road tool. I'm clicking here, I'm going out to about the halfway point, I'm clicking, and then I'm just trying to keep our spacing relatively even. I'm just kind of eyeballing that. 
if I really was concerned about keeping it like super, super tight, see how that's a little bit off, what you could do, and I think I maybe did this in one of the earlier episodes, is we know our spacing when we were doing our um, one-way roads was three tiles apart, so we could just do a few um, connection points like this. And we gotta make sure those are three tiles when we do. So that's three tiles, and that's three tiles. And then what we would do is just from here, um, Kirby Road, again, about halfway or so, trying to get the snap point just right. And then you would just go like that, but you can see I just need a little, a little bit of a guide point there. There we go. And then same idea, maybe just a little bit straight over here to about where the curve begins. Cool, and then when we're done, we get rid of that. If that's not quite right, just back that up a bit and then reconnect. There we go. That's more or less the spacing we're going for. Looking pretty darn good already. And then here is where things get a little bit complicated. I think what we're gonna do, just so we can get some tighter turns, is scale down on the number of roads. It's a shame we don't have a two lane um, highway thing to use here. And then the height is gonna be giving us some problems with our terrain there. That's a bit better. All right. And then I need just this way now. Just back that up a little bit and then we'll start to bridge. And if you guys will notice, um, there's not quite a lot of room to I mean, there kind of is, just barely to make it over to here. So what you guys could do instead, I think we're just going to do this just for the fun right now, is don't be afraid to kind of implement kind of like a partial cloverleaf kind of feel to this. So we'll scale down the height here. But we're basically just going to fall inward on ourselves. And if we get the spacing and everything just right, we can have the pillars and everything work as well. So let's try that one more time. So that's that part connected. And then I think we had to raise that up by one. That was the key. Yep, it was. And just a little bit further with that. Bring the height down. And then just get that curve a bit more in our favor by starting it again. And I don't think we need to go down as much. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love that. That's, that turned out better than I thought it would. Okay, so there's the break. That works. That's perfect. We just now need the way for um, traffic to go this way and in. And what I'm going to try for is a bit of an offset approach. And then the logic for that is when we do the other arm coming in, just a little bit more room to work with. And I need these to be on the same, um, same kind of line here. Come on. So hard. There we go. Sometimes you get the spacing, it just feels like your mouse is working against you. Now, in a perfect world, we can get these two to curve with each other and not run into um, problems with the spacing. Nice. And that would just be a matter of getting that to line up. Yes, sir, e Bob. Oh, my goodness. Very, very, very lucky with the way that turned out. Okay. And we know where we're going with this. 
Now, what I'm going to do just so that that lines up is I'm going to get rid of this point and I will make this now fall to about here. Oops, <laughs> I wanted that to go downhill and stay. And then that can go in. Like such. And I was trying to get that a little bit off center so we can have this one approach like that. But I think we still nail that just with that. So I'm happy with that. And as a bonus, look how cool that looks. That's a nice little kind of like trumpet basically interchange. Very happy with that. Now let's get the directions um, going the right way over here. And we should see some people starting to use this. And I think we have just enough time left that we can start doing a bit of the framing for the oil field. We'll worry about the other um, portion of the interchange like from here to here afterwards. I think we'll just, yeah, build some more of the city first. But I mean, this is cool. A little bit of an odd shape here. Uh, I, I, I'm sure it was avoidable. It just maybe, maybe the way that the roads kind of came in, that's kind of what our, our downfall probably was. Like this arguably could be a little bit further back even, just make things a bit more compact. But I'm not unhappy with the way this looks. It just it could have been more symmetrical, I guess is a good way to put it. Um, yeah, so let's just go for, go for a little bit of a shape over here now. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe like I'll, I'll maybe sleep on it or whatever. We'll see. I might maybe clean this up off um, off camera, but you know, might just stay the same. You never know. And then with this, I, I just want to try making um, kind of like an interesting intersection just based on some of the other stuff we've already used to create. It's going to be kind of like a partial clover leaf, but like not at the same time. Okay, so that's going across. That's going down like that. Perfect. And then I'd like um, a way in across like this. And we'll just try and do that same kind of style where we just hug our arms. Now, I may have made that a bit close because we can't really get the same liberty when we're going over top of the um, suspension bridges. Have to be very tall with those ones. And then this will land just into there if we can get that to work in our favor. Which I think we can. Almost, eh? Almost. There we go. Cool. Now, we do end up with the traffic light here. I don't think that's the end of the world, but... Uh, I mean, that's, that's cool. I like this. It's kind of a fun interchange. Okay, so let's start doing uh, some of this planning right here. So just, like, super, super fast. We'll just do a quick little network. So that can go across and then we can see you know, like where the um, terrain's a bit of a different color. That's the border where the um, the fuel is, but we can always just check this too, just for, for reference point. It's be nice to have kind of an avenue go up here, maybe be a separation between our zones if and when we get them. And then actually, you know what, over here, I was saying I did want the solar um, field. Let's maybe raise this a little bit. I don't have too much soil to work with here, but just a little bit of, of height. Oh, actually, that's basically all of our soil. And then let's get rid of um, all the trees up here, because they're going to create, you know, like shadows, hypothetically. You really wouldn't put your solar field in the middle of a forest, right? You want to have ideal sunlight. That's why we're going a little bit above ground, too. Slightly sloping up. Okay. That works for me. I think it'd be kind of fun is if we got this to work. Hey, hey, all right. 
It's hard to get that to actually work. Definitely liking that though. Okay, so let's have um, a spot just back here for the power plants to go on. I don't know if that's enough room. Oh, it is, nice. There we go, that's cool. And it'd be fun to get like an administrative building kind of thing over here, not too close so we don't have to worry about the shadows. And just maybe a parking lot. Just move that like that. And just like a little bit of commercial, just so there's some something happening over here, but it's not really a lot. And then we'll just do some um, services up here. And you know how I feel about having dead ends, so. bit close to the edge of um, the highway there, so I'm actually going to scale that back a bit. I don't want that like hole in the earth as they call it, where you get the, um, you know, the blue, uh, kind of the blue bit showing. Almost. Almost. There we go. Get rid of that back a little bit right there. I don't think we're going to be able to hold on to that zoning. Doesn't look like it. We'll just fill that in. Okay, so let's now bring over some uh, pipes. Luckily, they're not too far off. And it would be nice to maybe get some semblance of symmetry through here with our pipes. I've been trying hard. They're they're not looking too bad. I think last episode maybe was a a few few holes, but I think overall we're doing pretty good. Okay, so let's um quickly zone this up and then we'll just put in the um, specialization and then I think we'll call it an episode. don't want to be spending too much more time on this. But I think we'll just kind of continue along with this more or less in the next episode. So let's get rid of this. Let's bring power in now through here. Great. Perfect. And let's now put down some roads and really run out of time here. Oh my goodness. Just a little bit of that. And this might end up being a bit on the boxy side, but that's totally no problem. So I think that'll help with um, with our traffic flow. And then these are going to be one ways going inbound and that should hopefully help with traffic and then, you know, no traffic lights, right? So, I like that. Let's just finish up some of this framing. Okay. It's kind of like a loose shape right here. And then we're going to put in, just like we normally do, a few administrative style buildings. So, some office towers to make it feel like they're kind of the ones in you know, like the, the driver's seat more or less, and then the, the fields might be like, I don't know, computer controlled or something. It's a little bit more of a mix right there. And then maybe back here can be some offices too. Otherwise, we'll blanket zone everything else as industry, and then we'll put in the specialization, and then I don't know if we'll be able to watch all of it build because we're really just out of time, but I want to get some of that in. And then just because of the way the um, ground and everything is set up, it's like not all of these will be coming in as, um, um, uh, or, or, uh, not or, um, oil. Goodness gracious me. Like an oil pump. And then power, of course, will spread, so we're not really worried about that. And I would like, um, just maybe a little bit of, uh, uh, commercial, say just up here. Cool. All right, so let's specialize this and let's call her quits. So let's do the big one here. No, we won't. And then I'm gonna let the names kind of um, just like, kind of like uh, accumulate. So if you guys have any suggestions, keep them coming. 
And then eventually, one day off camera, I'm just going to name a whole bunch of districts off of uh, some suggestions from you guys and stuff. Maybe even after a few of you people, too, just for fun. I sometimes do that here and there. So if you're pretty active in the comments. You're a pretty big helper, that kind of stuff. I, I love to reward that. Okay, so we're going to click on this oil specialization. And just the inner part will be oil, so it's going to get a really good mix of the buildings right here. Power's already spreading, so... Awesome. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to end things off here. I went, like, way overboard on time. I'm really trying not to do two long episodes, you know. I'd rather just break it up into two. But uh, I feel like there's a lot to do this one. And we got some nifty interchanges in. Like, I just, I love these. Such a nice addition to the city, especially this one. I think this turned out visually a lot better than the other. This one, I, I don't dislike it. It's just a little bit odd-shaped, and it's just a little bit on the big side. So, nothing wrong with that, but, you know, wasn't really what I was kind of expecting when I was starting to build it. But you guys let me know your thoughts if you find it terribly hideous I might fix it off camera I might just do that in general but we'll probably see how it looks with some trees and some rocks and stuff um all right that's it guys all the best uh let me know what you think especially with our you know milestones and the buildings unlocked now being locked and stuff so and then yeah let me know your thoughts too about like our you know expansion and the rivers and just everything all right guys all the best I will see you in the next one happy building and I look forward to reading the comments all right guys take care of yourselves all the best